Dr. Jen Mensah-led Electoral Commission has directed the opposition NDC to table its proposed electoral reforms before the Inter-Party Advisory Committee, IPAC. The commission says it's opened to receive suggestions and feedbacks aimed at enhancing the country's electoral process, but however, insists IPAC is the appropriate forum for such suggestions. The NDC compiled... 30 suggestions for electoral reforms. They include giving legal backing to the Inter-Party Advisory Committee, which hitherto has been simply an advisory body, which decision are not binding. The NDC also wants persons appointed by the President as chairperson of the Electoral Commission to go through parliamentary vetting. My colleague, Kwesi Paka-Wilson, joins me with more on this one. Kwesi, you've been checking with your sources at the Commission. What have they been telling you? All right, so Aisha, we you know that the NDC officially wrote to the commission somewhere last week, and the commission also responded to them that they acknowledged receipt of the petition and indicated to them that, well, some of the suggestions that they, they are putting across uh, clearly are not within their mandate. The electoral commission indicated that an issue about where EC nominees would have to seek parliamentary approval, uh, it goes beyond their mandate. Again, splitting the EC office into two goes beyond their mandate. But however, uh, the things that are within their mandate, obviously they will look at it because the Electoral Commission believes that any suggestion that will enhance the electoral process, they are going to welcome it. Uh, but this decision was taken after they held the meeting at the top level and decided that, well, the appropriate forum where the NDC can table their concerns is the IPAC. They don't want a situation where they'll open the floodgate for other political parties to also equally submit their suggestions as to them. When, when it happens like that, what it means is that they are dealing with individual parties and that they, they do not want to deal with individual parties, but however, deal with political parties as a group. And that is why they have created the uh, IPAC so that anybody who has concerns about the electoral process can raise it and then collectively they can discuss it. But there was something that the EC was clear that with the issue of the regional coalition center, as I remember, that during the 2020 election, the uh, constituency had to send their uh, results to the regional center before uh, taking them to the national headquarters. The EC says that um, upon their exhibition and their review, they realized that that process really helped them in the 2020 election. So even though NDC is calling for uh, it to be terminated or abolished, uh, the EC disagree. But however, they say that if the NDC would want to propose for a better way of doing it and enhance the process, of course, they welcome the idea. So the EC is asking the NDC that when they convene the next IPAC meeting, which we are told might be the end of this month, they should make sure they bring all their concerns, which are within the mandate of the EC, for them to address the concerns for them. How is the EC taking suggestions by the NDC that future commissioners must go through Parliament before being approved? Well, so that the EC does not really have a comment on that because the argument is that this is for the executive arm of government to deal with it. As for EC commissioners and persons who uh, may have been the commissioners for the Electoral Commission, uh, they are there to serve the people. And so if the NDC wants such a proposal, it would need a constitutional amendment. And that amendment does not rest on the shoulders of the Electoral Commission. The amendments is with Parliament, and of course, government will have to now initiate that for Parliament to make the necessary uh, ratification of the amendment. So, uh, if they want to do that and the executive buys into the idea, well, they are there to serve the people. They will ensure that the right thing is being done. Parker uh, Parker Wilson is my colleague who has been monitoring the NDC suggestions that a number of reforms must be made at the Electoral Commission.